He's Keir Starmer, a socialist, I believe he is. Well, he can describe himself as whatever he wants. He's an absolute yeah. socialist. He would never actually want anyone to think he's a socialist because then you wouldn't have, like, Amazon and Meta and BAE Air Defence Systems sponsoring every event. It says capitalism, bad, do not recommend, because the whole problem with society now is capitalism. The only people that are left are just... Like, I don't think they're very political. I think they just want to have a briefcase and wear a suit and they like the, they, they, I think they just like the idea of politics. Is Keir Starmer a socialist? I believe he is. But then again, the spectrum of socialism, I think, is wide. And there's a position for several of us who are a little bit more to the left of Keir. And I believe we're a socialist as well as he is. My problem I've got at the moment is I don't believe Keir Starmer is a socialist. I think he's what we would call a social democrat. And a social democrat believes that we can somehow manage in partnership with capitalist business. And we can't. It's filed under Blair, it will file again. When Keir Starmer describes himself as a socialist, do you agree with that description? In the same way that I describe what I believe socialism means to me, then I believe that uh, uh, Keir Starmer has his own view on what socialism means to him. Uh, well, he can describe himself as whatever he wants, and uh, I would partly agree with him. I'm sure there are areas where we disagree and maybe that definition doesn't fit, but, you know, socialism is a big umbrella. Yeah, well, he has to. Hey, look, if you're trying to be the leader of the Democratic Socialist Party, you're not going to suddenly announce you're a social democrat. He's using that as a pretense. If you look at the Labour Party, we're a Democratic Socialist Party. We are not now represented by socially, uh, democratic socialists? Uh, no, I don't think so. And I think, because he sort of stood as a kind of Corbynish uh, platform during the leadership election, and Tony Blair said he was a socialist when he wanted to get the leadership election. And uh, yeah, I just think it's quite a... Also, he would never actually want anyone to think he's a socialist, because then you wouldn't have, like, Amazon and Meta and BAE Air Defence Systems sponsoring every event in this uh, sort of weird. Uh, it's my first uh, conference, so I, I'm. I, this is all very weird. Last year, when we were very much seen as the party who would be in government, and this year, when we are the party in government, it's uh, inevitable that these people will seek to speak to us and influence us. And obviously, we want an industrial strategy, so we're going to be speaking to them. He's an absolute yeah. socialist, yeah. And, and, and Keir's also a pragmatist as well, so he will do things that are good for the country and um, if it means that um, he's got to do things that some people in the Labour Party don't like. Uh, the way, the way I, I my mum says it to me, my mum's always telling me off being too The way she said you'd rather have 50% of what you want versus 0%. Yeah, and, and as, as he's said repeatedly and as uh, ministers have said, there's no point in being party of protest, you've got to be in power if you want to change things. I think there are pros and cons depending on your analysis and how you look at it, but I wouldn't say it would factor into like whether or not he's a socialist. Like I think, who, who knows if that's the right call, well, you know, I, maybe they will need to be disciplined, maybe it developed bad. All these things, in five years' time, we'll all be like, oh, well, we knew why this was right or wrong, but for now, I have no idea. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to answer whether it's right or wrong, but I will say that if you're going to be a party of government, you need to have discipline, you need to get behind the party, and you all need to come together. No point splitting the vote. And um, yeah, it's, uh, there, there are issues of conscience, obviously, that MPs will make a decision on, and then that's up to the leadership about what they do about that. When did you first become interested in uh, When I saw Jeremy Corbyn speak um, for the original leadership uh, challenge um, back in 2016, maybe 2015. What was it about Jeremy um, there was uh, no discredit to uh, any of the candidates that were there, uh, but when I saw Jeremy Corbyn spoke, he inspired me, and I, uh, I've often, often anecdotally said that uh, I believe he was an honest and sincere man in politics. A lot of people would say that Keir Starmer has moved the party to the right since the Corbyn days. Would you agree with that assessment, and do you think it was necessary for the party to become electable? Uh, two questions. Uh, I think definitely he's moved it to the right compared to Corbyn. That's not a very difficult answer, as I'm sure most people would agree. Um, whether he needed to? Probably to win the election. 
election speaks for itself, doesn't it? The answer is yes. We are now controlled from the centre. Individual members have no rights in certain ways. CLPs cannot pick their own candidates. Everything now is controlled from the centre. Um, the Labour Party has changed its direction. Um, it's become more electable. Um, and the results of that are obvious in the fact that uh, the 24 um, election, general election has shown that. Is that a good or a bad thing in your mind? It is. We can achieve nothing unless we're actually in power. Um, and it's a case of uh, having uh, got my first job out of school under Margaret Thatcher. I'm quite aware of the uh, damage that um, uh, conservative policies um, bring to communities and the workplace and society as a whole. Uh, yeah, I think it's moved a lot more to the right. And I, I don't think, uh, from the outside, it doesn't look like it's moved that much because Angela Rayner still has a job for now. But um, I've been with a lot of the Labour students and Labour youth, and they're so right-wing. They all defend the Iraq war, and they're, they're just, just horrible. And um, I, I worry that if that's the youth of the party in 10 years' time, we will just become the Tories. Uh, I think they all want jobs, and I think the people that sort of had beliefs, uh, and obviously not that it was perfect under Corbyn or anything, but and Labour youth would say some really stupid stuff about like Assad and stuff under Corbyn, which isn't good. But um, I think anyone who sort of believed or sort of felt bad about things that happen in the world, they all left and voted Green. And so the only people that are left are just, like, I don't think they're very political. I think they just want to have a briefcase and wear a suit and they like the, they, they, I think they just like the idea of politics. How would you describe socialism? Socialism is, to me, about everybody and not just a few. Benefiting everybody. You've got quite an interesting shirt on. Yes. Can you tell me what it says? It says capitalism. Bad. Do not recommend. Why, why did you decide to say that? Because the whole problem with society now is capitalism. Uh, I don't think it means like the government running everything. That you know, it kind of that's how it was like the 20th century socialist countries. But I think that I'm a believer in worker cooperatives, and I think that we have democracy in elections, and I think democracy should be spread to the workplace and the economy. To be honest, I've come up here to highlight the fact that yes. Starmer has changed everything, but not necessarily for the good.